What up, y'all? Y'all know what it is. Welcome back, Conspiracy University. So I'm a little excited, you know, because your boy was on suspension or, or you know, I had another, I had got two strikes back to back and they wasn't even trying to hear it. So, you know, I had to get, I had to sit out two weeks and, you know, I got some other videos in the cut that I'm finna drop because, you know, I was putting in some work. But, you know, I just want to come on here and let it be known that, you know, I wasn't just BSing around or I wasn't just, you know, like, nah, you know, I'm, I'm with the YouTube shit. So when I'm not posting for, you know, a period of time or whatever, just know they got your boy. They wasn't trying to hear it. They didn't care about the appeal. My appeals get rejected. Like by the time I even get a chance to go and refresh the damn page, they will reject my appeals. Like, so obviously they're not looking over it. Right. That's neither here nor there. Let's get right back to it, y'all. So we have here another one of the not so secret societies, number five. So let's check it out, y'all. Rail, born Claude Maurice Marcel, September 30th, 1946, is a French journalist who founded and leads the Raelian movement, an international UFO religion. So there y'all can see there a little bit about them. So let's check it out. Before becoming a religious leader, Rail, then known as Claude, worked as a sports car journalist and test driver for his car racing magazine, Autopop. Following a purported extraterrestrial encounter in 1973, he formed the Raelian movement and changed his name to Rail, meaning Messenger of the Elohim. He later published several books which detailed the encounter with a being called Yahweh in 1973. He traveled the world to promote his book for over 30 years. Mr. Rail was born in France. He was raised in Amber in the home of his maternal grandmother, who was atheist. His father, who was small hat, what do you know? And his mother, a devout atheist. He attended a Catholic boarding school and caused a scandal by taking part in communion without being baptized. His parents withdrew him from the boarding school to put him in school in Amber. At age 15, Rail ran away from boarding school and hitchhiked to Paris, where he spent three years playing music on the streets in cafes and cabarets. He met with Lucien Maurice, the director of a national radio program who was scouting for young talent. Rayo signed a record contract and became a rising teen pop star on the radio. He took on a new identity, assuming the name Claude Seller, and released six singles, including a minor hit song, Le Mio et Le Canel, no, we get Honey and Cinnamon. Rayo had a passion for the songs of Belgian singer Jacques Braille and tried to imitate his singing style. He was saving up his money to buy a racing car, a dream he had since he was a young boy, but his prospects as a singer came to an ab abrupt end when Maurice killed himself in September of 1970. Rayo decided to work as a sports journalist to gain access to the world of car racing. He met Marie Paul Christini, a nurse. They moved to Clermont Ferrand, where Rayo started his own publishing house. He created a sports car magazine, Autopop, whose first issue was released in 1971. One of the tasks for his new startup was the position of testing new automobiles, which enabled him to enter the motor racing world. All right, y'all, so let's get to the good stuff. According to the book, the book that tells the truth, which is the book he wrote, right? That's what it's called, the book that tells the truth. Uh, Rail had an alien visitation on 13 December 1973. In a secluded area within a French volcanic crater, an extraterrestrial being came out of a craft that had descended gently from the sky and told him in French, that he had come from the, for the sole purpose of meeting with him. Rail said he was given a message by this alien and told that it was his mission to pass this message on to the people of Earth. The book states that advanced human scientists from another planet with 25,000 years of scientific advances created all life on Earth through DNA manipulation. The scientists, Rail said, were originally called Elohim or those who came from the sky. He wrote that around 40 prophets in Earth's history were sent by Elohim. But their messages were distorted by humans largely because of the difference in the level of civilization between the advanced race and Earth's primitive one. Rail said he was given the mission to inform the world of humanity's origins in anticipation of the extraterrestrial's return by building a residential embassy in neutral territory. He stated that certain mysteries were explained to him based on new interpretations of sacred texts such as the Bible. He said that on October 7, 1975, he was contacted by one of the Elohim, who took him to another planet to meet Buddha, Moses, Jesus, and Muhammad. Damn, all in one shot. He stated that his second book, Extraterrestrials Took Me to Their Planet, relates the teaching he received from these people 
In this book, Braille describes harmonious and peaceable beings free of money, sickness, and war. In 1974, Braille decided to give up his automobile magazine, Autopop. That September, the last issue, number 34, was published. Braille then devoted himself to the tasks he was said he was given by his biological father, an extraterrestrial named Yahweh. Shortly after a first public conference, Rail, found, Rail founded Medic, a group of people interested in helping him in this task, which later became the International Raelian Movement. So, there's there's a lot more right in here, which y'all you know y'all should probably go look into and check it out. But, all right, y'all. So you know, obviously, when I'm making these videos and this series that I call the Not So Secret Societies, there's always you know a bigger picture, I guess you could say. Something to, you know, maybe ponder on or to make the people stop and really think about something and look at something with the proper eyes. But anyway, connections, connecting the dots, things that don't seem like they should be there or, you know, something that just doesn't fit. OK, once again. So the Raelian movement, right, this guy, Rail, who started the Raelian movement, are also responsible for creating the first cloning facility. Clonade. I'm sure many of y'all have heard of Clonade. You got some, that one rapper who, uh, what's his, I don't know, his, he has a Dragon Ball Z name, right? But he's kind of feminine. He, he was a, a, allegedly a clone who came from Clonade. He told us on Vlad TV, right? And come to think of it, he might've been like dead ass serious and like really been, like, might've really, really been one. But, Again, you know, the connections connect the dots. And, you know, sometimes you see not everything is as it appears to be. So they are responsible for creating and funding Clonade. I don't know. They are supposed to be making more of them in like different locations in other parts of the world. But as of right now, this is the only one I know of. And it's just it's crazy because, you know, there's another connection that gets made. So I, I know a lot of y'all remember whenever. Mr. Kanye West, or also known as Ye Ye, he went on his last little rampage of blowing up the internet, causing all that ruckus. He was tweeting things, you know, just randomly whenever he mentioned Deathcom 4, Deathcom 3 or 4, one of them. But the one that stands out is whenever he tweeted this picture, as y'all can see on the screen here, which appears to be the swastika combined inside of the Star David, or I'm not sure if that's exactly what they were going for. But it does look like that. And of course, when these people who posted the article here and, and along with all the other major media outlets went on and on and on about what they thought they knew for sure, what he was saying, what he meant. It was all a bunch of propaganda BS. We know that. But what the symbol for sure definitely is, is the same. I mean, I, I, okay, I don't, it could be. The, the dimensions of it might be a little bit off right but the appearance of it is exactly the same one as the Raelian movement the ones who created cloning so let me show y'all now as y'all can see here i'm on learnreligions.com a website i like to use often actually and right here it says the official Raelian symbols meaning and controversy so i'll be damned if that ain't the same same exact symbol right but like i said i, I could be wrong because maybe you know how you, you can tweak something and make it a little different so it's not the same but y'all know what i mean now you know could kanye have been potentially hinting at the fact that maybe he was taken away and came back as a clone or could it have just been more smoke and mirrors and more just bs just to play with us right like who knows but what i do know is that's the same symbol and what the media was trying to put out when he was doing it, it wasn't lining up it wasn't adding up so whether or not mr Ye or Yi is part of the Raelian movement i guess that's to be determined but i mean it says a lot for you to I mean you, you just like the crips and the bloods and all the gang members right they, they they rep their set and they throw up their symbols that's the way i see it but you know i could be wrong but once again y'all as always I appreciate every single one of y'all who come over here and rock with me. Y'all keep your eyes open out there, homies. Stay safe.